Marcia here and I just want to do a quick book um, wrap up for November and a short little book haul for November. So I wanted to let you know I only read two books. Yeah, just two. And it was The City of Bones and The City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. And as you can see I have the new versions with the new covers. And these will be in my uh, December book haul. But I read those. That's it. Oh, and I don't have the book with me. I can't believe it. What? It's Alice in Wonderland. Um, and uh, that was it. Okay, so the first book I bought was... It was intriguing looking. And it's by Christine Feehan. Called The Dark Horse. And I guess um, I read online that she has like 30 books in this whole family of series. I don't think it's bad that you read one out of line of the numerical order, but um, it comes with an outline of like everything she writes about. So, look. So look inside this uh, book, it has some kind of like pictures of the cave, so it's really cool. But inside it has this like outline of the whole family, all these families. Isn't that crazy? That is amazing. So, well, that's pretty cool. So there's that one. Okay, so what intrigued me was that it's about vampires and um, had romance in it and it's a fantasy. Um, Vampire Slayer, the Carpathian Mountains, which I guess is popular for vampires, I don't know, but it sounded really cool and was on sale at Walmart. Then I also found this, which I see a lot of people getting, and I'm really intrigued by it because the way it looks, it's called Illuminae, uh, the Illuminae Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This one is pretty cool. And it looks good without the dust cover. Which... See that? It's cool, huh? It's like see through and look. It's so cool. The way it is written, it has like emails and interviews. It's a space agey sci fi thriller. It's pretty interesting. It starts with like an invasion of the planet. I think it's Earth. I don't know, but. It sounds really good because it's like they start off like she's gonna break up with the main character is gonna break up with her boyfriend and their planet is invaded and she goes on one ship and he goes on another spaceship and I don't know I'm only in 41 pages of it so anyway I bought that and I think I bought this in November but it's the um I just saw it coming out of the bathroom and it kind of got my attention because it said Dracula. It's Anno Dracula by Mr. Kim Newman. I don't know, from the sick and depraved mind of M.R. Kim Newman. So I don't know if that's M.R. Kim Newman or Mr. Kim Newman. I think it's a woman though. I don't really know. I guess I could do more research on it, but this thing is jam-packed. It has like Jack the Ripper. It has Frankenstein. Frankenstein, Dracula, and it has George Bernard Shaw, hello, and it has, um, well, if not, uh, Lewis Carroll, I bought this, it's only 20 bucks. Jane Austen fans come closer. Jane Austen and seven novels. Yup. Isn't that so cool? You know, it's interesting, my daughter is reading about Jane Austen in high school, and they said that the books that were written didn't have copyrights on them, so anyone could write the book. So anyway, that was interesting, but it has seven novels, Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, Emma, North Anger Abbey, Persuasion, Lady Susan. Pretty much all the great ones, so I'm excited. This is awesome. So, pick that up at Barnes & Noble. It's pretty. It's leather bound. It's really nice. Gold. So, I'm sure you'll like that if you're a Jane Austen fan. And there you go. Have a great day.